to the diktat of the Jama Masjid administration that has sent shockwaves across the country. Now, after it prohibited the entry of solitary women without male escorts. Now, as per the administration, many are using the mosque as a meeting point and a place to take videos and selfies instead of a place for worship. However, this order particularly targets women, holding them solely responsible for what they claim are improper acts. Women's commissions, activists, including Hindu organizations, have condemned the move. However, many Muslim clerics are adamant that this is an internal religious matter. CNN News 18's Mahri Shakil spoke to the top cleric of Jama Masjid, the Shahi Imam Sayyid Ahmed Bukhari, on this entire controversy. The first question is that why did this kind of dictat give us a dictat? In Jama Masjid, if a girl or a girl is a girl, it is a dictat of a dictat. पहले आपने ये नोटिस क्यों लगाया था? देखिए मेरे पास कुछ वीडियोस आई थीं जिसमें लड़का और लड़की मस्जिद में जिस तरह की हरकत कर रहे थे ये एक नहीं दो तीन वीडियोस मेरे पास आईं लोगों ने शिकायत की तो उस शिकायत की बुनियाद पर मुझे कदम उठाना पड़ा कि लड़की अगर आ रही है नमाज पढ़ने � लेकिन अगर वो सीधा कहती है कि मैंने बॉयफ्रेंड को टाइम दिया हुआ है और मैं उससे मिलने के लिए जा रही हूँ तो मस्जिद हो गुरुद्वारा हो या मंदिर हो वो इबादत के लिए है इन हरकत के लिए नहीं है और इसकी कोई भी इजाजत नहीं देगा ना ना मंदिर का एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इजाजत देगा ना गुरुद्वारे का ना ना ही जामे मस्जिद को देखिए पाबंदी लगाई थी दोनों पर लड़के पर लड़की पर दोनों पर पाबंदी लगाई हुआ क्या जैसे गेट नंबर एक है गेट नंबर एक से मना कर दिया अब लड़की आ गई गेट नंबर दो से लड़का आ गया गेट नंबर तीन से तो अब इसके अलावा और कोई चारा नहीं था कि भाई लड़की नहीं लड़की को पाबंदी थोड़ी की है पाबंदी थोड़ी लगाई है बिल्कुल आए नमाज पढ़े मस्जिद देखें लेकिन वो अपने बॉयफ्रेंड से मिलने के लिए आ रही है तो वो गलत तो ये जो आपने बस नोटिस बोर्ड हटाया है लेकिन रिस्ट्रिक्शन कंटिन्यू रहेगा रिस्ट्रिक्शन उन लड़के लड़कियों के लिए है की जो इस तरह बदतमीजी करे मस्जिद में और मस्जिद की हरमत मस्जिद की जो पामाली है उसकी जो खुरमत है उसको पामाल करें ये पाबंदी तो रहेगी पाबंदी की जो बात कर रहे हैं लेकिन ये और सारे जो आपके रिस्ट्रिक्शन हैं वो औरतों पे ही क्यों हैं सारे ऑर्डर्स औरतों पर ही क्यों होते हैं देखिए लड़के और लड़की अगर दोनों ही करेंगे तो दोनों जिम्मेदार हैं ना लेकिन अगर लड़की ना चाहे तो कभी भी लड़के की हिम्मत नहीं है and joining me on the broadcast is Zakia Soman, women's rights activist and co-founder of the Bharatiya Muslim Mahila Andola. Ms. Soman, thank you for joining us on CNN News 18. The Jama Masjid Authority say they have seen people shoot videos, treat the mosque as a meeting point and not come for prayers. Despite that, in your opinion, what kind of thinking drives a decision where you single out and ban women? Even if there are problems, you know, of uh, behavior which is not acceptable for a place of worship, how do they come to the conclusion that the women are to be blamed for that? How do they hope to resolve people meeting each other or the question of videography by banning women? So that suggests a, a kind of a mindset, which is a misogynist mindset, which is an orthodox mindset, uh, which, uh, you know, which at the root of it is that women are responsible for all the problems of the world. You know, so that is on display here. So uh, I, 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 I think it is nothing to do with the religion because uh, in religion, every uh, worshipper is entitled to go to the mosque or, or to go to the temple or the Gurdwara. But here the people, the men of religion who are in charge of the masjid decide that it, should, it is the women who are, uh, you know, to be blamed for whatever is wrong with the place of worship and thereby uh, by banning women, especially women who come alone, because they, they really dread women who come alone. You know, I don't know, because they can't imagine independent women inhabiting this world. So it is it is more suggestive of their mindset rather than any, you know, any religious principle or religious uh, injunction in that sense, Ayush. Ms. Oman, you are one of the leaders of the fight against uh, Triple Talak, which led to its eventual ban. Are we still in a place where constitutional authorities have to intervene to ensure equal rights in the community? Definitely. 
the rulings come from the high court and the supreme court which favor equality between men and women we also won the women's entry into haji ali matter we won in the high court as well as again in the supreme court but uh, it's very difficult to change the mindsets you know dominant mindsets in society and particularly the mindsets of uh, the men who are in charge who have appointed themselves in charge of religion because they feel that uh, somehow in religion they feel men have priority and men are superior and women have no place uh, except to obey whatever are the norms and rules which are set up by the men so that is the problem so uh, so here you know it's a case of uh, law being ahead of society uh, the courts you know being well ahead of society but the society is still reeling under this kind of orthodox and misogynist mindsets i think uh, we'll need to do much more work on the ground the community uh, people will have to come forward people will do have to stand up against these kind of uh, uh, you know arbitrary diktats and people have to will have to resist it you know for it to be understood by these men of religion that we are not living in the 18th century or you know uh, as in the middle ages we are living in 21st century india in the age uh, of in information and internet and technology and and progress where men and women being equal is the basic premise so yeah so that 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 thinking and that that kind of a level of education and awareness needs to come yeah my final question mr sumin the bhartiya muslim mahila andolan is synonymous with the abolition of triple talaq do you feel your tribe of women activists needs to grow needs to be more outspoken and that is the only solution for reform to deter these diktats that restrict women you are you are very right ayushman not only the tribe of women uh, needs to grow even the tribe of men supporting women also needs to grow uh, it has really been an achievement uh, in the movement against triple talaq that lot of ordinary women have come forward and who have become aware of their rights and have started asserting their rights and now have also started speaking of uh, rights of other women you know in their neighborhood or in their family or or in their acquaintance so that great development has happened but yeah we need many many more voices and feminine voices supported by male voices to take it further zakia soman thank you for joining us on cnn news 18 with your perspective on this entire matter getting some more breaking